Hello there YouTube, my name is Andrew, and welcome back to another one of my childhood movie reviews. The last time I did a review on The Wizard of Oz with Judy Garland, and this time I'm going to be do making a video on one of my all-time favorite Walt Disney movies. It's, it's very in my opinion, very underrated, even though it is a very common and well-liked Disney movie. In my opinion, it's still a bit underrated. Not too underrated, but still very underrated. Sorry. Um, also, this movie is a bit closer to home in regards to when it was made. It was made in 1977, so that's a hint already as to which movie it was. Um, okay, I'm gonna reveal it now. It's the, hold on, it's the Rescuers with Eva Gabor as Miss Bianca the Mouse here. Um, Bob, Bob Newitt as Bernard the Mouse here and Jim Jordan as Orville the albatross here, the flying albatross there. Basically, Miss Bianca and Bernard are part of this mouse society that's called um, the Rescue Aid Society. Its headquarters is basically located in the world, at the base of the World Health Organization in this this movie's universe so basically they're doing a similar thing it's what they do is um basically said in the name they re they take um calls for help letters for help and basically try to respond and try to help the individuals or individual um, involved. So basically the movie starts off with this girl called Penny who's being kidnapped by some shady deal some shady gem de dealers um, to basically go down into a abandoned mine I suppose you could call it mine or hole or whatever to find this um to find this precious diamond that's supposed to be worth a lot of money. And basically the movie starts off with her chucking a message bottle into the ocean in the hopes that it reaches the rescue aid society or just anyone in general. Anyone in general, not just the rescue aid society. For someone to come and rescue her and take her away from this place that she considers to be her worst nightmare. And the message floats in the ocean for quite a while, a few months. At least um, a few months till it makes its way to New York where they're located. Um, so yeah, it's eventually found and taken to the Rescue Aid Society and... The society, <clears throat> the society send Miss Bianca and Bernard in to to basically find Penny, bring her back. Um, they originally start looking at an orphanage because the at the orphanage where Penny was last known to be kept because. The letter unfortunately did not say where Penny was exactly, so it was kind of a bit of detective slash um adventure in this movie, um with Bianca and Bernard having to work together to find where she's where um Penny's being kept. So oh yes, and before I go too much more into the story, um Miss Bianca is very courageous, very intelligent, very smart and outward thinking, whereas 
Bernard, he's an he's a nice character. He's not it's not bad or anything. He's just very cowardly and unsure of himself. Most of the time he's also very superstitious. Um one example being is when he's climbing up climbing up a set of stairs, he worries about the stairs having only thirteen steps and that's supposed to bring bad luck to ever, so Bianca calmly tells him to basically skip the last step so that he only climbs 12 steps instead of 13. So, yep, um, they, they, back to the story, um, they go to this, they go to the, um, orphanage and they find this cat who is very good friends with, um, Bianca. Oh, yep, and in this movie it's kind of similar to a love Disney movies where you get animals and humans talking not not animals talking to humans but well yeah I suppose there is a little bit of that otherwise Penny wouldn't be able to understand them but it's mainly between humans and humans or animals and animals there isn't too much animals to humans talking going on Anyways, anyways, so basically, they go there, um, ask, ask this cat, um, a few questions. He points them towards the, where the, um, main shady lady called Madame Medusa is, um, has set up shop in New York. So, um... Basically, long story, long story short, sorry, can't speak. Um, long story short, basically, um, she gets woken up during the middle of their search, and they basically have to hide from her while she's on the phone to her henchman or minion, whatever you want to call him, um, Mister Snoops, who. This is a guy who's currently holding um, Penny hostage down, down, um, down that mine, and basically she's very aggressive and very much a typical Disney villain sort of thing. Like she's not very caring. She's only motivated by what she wants and she'll do whatever to to obtain her goals which is currently the um diamond <coughs> sorry again um so yeah basically she has to go down to where penny's being held a place called the devil's marbles and basically um Bernard and so basically like they she has to fly there in order to get there so Bianca and Bernard basically end up taking up taking their own variation of like a plane which is of course Orville as you can see here the albatross he flies them down there and basically they have they have quite an adventure just down there in Devil's Marbles trying to um first of all locate where Penny is and then with help of um some of the local animals that live down there um help infiltrating and basically rescuing her. Um which sounds pretty easy because these two Madame Medusa and Mr. Snoops, they're not particularly bright, however, Madame Medusa happens to have two pet crocodiles. Oh yes, I should mention also that it's located, Devil's Marbles is basically a swamp with the mine being adjacent to the, um, to the swamp. Basically, um, yeah, Madame Medusa has two pre two pet crocodiles, one called Brutus, the other one called Nero, obviously has some Roman 
either heritage or likeness, I don't know. Movie never explains that. But anyways, um basically they attempt they attempt to rescue um Penny a couple of times only to get thwarted by um Brutus and Nero. Um so yeah, Penny is eventually forced to go down the mine once more and with Bianca and um Bernard's help she does eventually find the coveted diamond and she manages to gate free. It is temp <coughs> sorry, is temporarily given to Madame Medusa and Mr Snoops, however they start arguing over who gets what of the share of the diamond because Mr. Snooch wants to cut it up and sell it in, as smaller diamonds, whereas Madame Medusa wants to sell it all as one big diamond. It's a pretty big diamond, probably about the same size as a fist, maybe. Like, that size. Um, so, yeah, whilst they're arguing, Penny, Bianca, Bernard, and the rest of them manage to steal the diamond while they're not looking, and this leads to a, um, pretty hilarious sort of fight scene between Penny and her allies and Madame Medusa. If eventually they, Penny and her allies do eventually get away with taking the diamond, and they do actually get rid of Madame Medusa, although the ending for Madame Medusa is, I reckon, one of the darkest for Disney villains. Basically, she's left hanging on sort of a pole whilst her two pets, um, Brutus and Nero, because they've apparently had enough of her, are, sit, are lying, are um, basically lying in the surrounding swamp, waiting and snapping at her while she's clinging for dear life on the pole. So yeah, basically, um, they they managed to get Penny back to New York, back to the or orphanage where she is eventually adopted by two kind pet by two kind parents. Um. Yeah, the movie basically ends with Bianca and Bernard basically riding on top of Orville, riding on top of Orville on to go to the next um. To the next project, basically to the next call of help. Alright, so that's enough of the story. So I'll just quickly show you the rest of my case, like. Yep, yeah. here's the description. Sorry if that's a bit hard to read. A few pictures. Oh yep, yeah. there's some of the um, there's some of the other animals I mentioned here that help out. But yeah, no, the main. Oh yep, yeah. there's sorry, there's the diamond there that they have to get, and there's of course Bernard and Bianca. Picture of Penny? No, there's not another picture of Penny, but oh, yep. inside. Sorry. Alright. This is the um DVD disc for it. It's a little broken, that's how it was when I got it. I haven't done that recently, that's how it was. Sorry. But, yep. Sorry. This is one of my all time favorite Walt Disney movies. It'd probably be about fourth or fifth on my um Disney on my Disney movie list. Also quite high up on my overall favorite Disney overall um sorry favorite movies in general. List, I'd easily give this a solid 8 or 9 
out of 10. I'd highly recommend it. The story does go a little bit more in depth than what I just what I just said. I've just gone for a brief summary because there's no point in me telling you word for word the whole movie because then there's almost no point in watching it. So I do recommend that you go and get it yourself if you don't have it. Also, if you've never watched it before, you won't be disappointed if you're into Disney movies. Alright, that's it for today's video. I'll leave you with that and bye.